the Roman Republic, which at one point was the strongest power that lived upon this planet, was once threatened by the great tyrant, Julius Caesar. This man was treated as a god and almost became just that, but it was due to the combined efforts of Brutus and Cassius that prevented this man to rise to such a great a power. Now, over 2,000 years later, the school of Malmbar was threatened by a similar tyrant to Caesar. This is the tale of the 21st century Caesar. It's been only two months, and his rise to power is great. He, he has in place strict rules, and our jobs become ever harder ever by the day. I, too, have noticed those rules, and I feel like it's wrong for me to act upon them, like I'm not the right person to do it. But what better person than you can do? Excuse me, don't you have a class to teach? Surely you don't want to anger Mr. Coppinger at this time. You need to go. What a better man to enforce these rules than you. No man better than I. Oh, hey, Carpenter. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I hope that's not a sign of what's to come. Go yell to that irresponsible Canfield. I shall remember. When Carpenter says do this, it is done. Let's play your side. It seems that you're unaware of the new rules. More rules? What is it now? We can't sit a certain way? I'm afraid that's not it. The kids in the back of your class, they're eating. That's the new rule. They're not allowed to. Kids, can you just stop eating? This is the new rule now. Now, if you'd please excuse me, I have a class to teach. Teachers, you need to be teaching all day in your classroom. Good idea to throw out these lazy teachers. I like you seeing my way. Get up, you have a class to teach. Fine. Ah, Cat Sooners, what brings you to our place of knowledge? I see that you're not wearing the proper attire according to the new rules. Here, put this on. Before Coppinger's on your back. Is it really a fine morning? These new rules are pushing us to our limits. Is this what we signed up for? I agree with these words, yes. I emailed a few teachers to discuss this matter in a safer time. I'm glad that my weak words have stirred up at least this much fire within Canfield's heart. Hey, Coppinger. I think it'd be mutually beneficial for both you, the staff, and the students to hear these new rules you have created. Have a nice day. Hope you're feeling great. Wouldn't want you to die or anything. Smiley face. Gathered here today to talk about the newly and swiftly growing threat to our jobs, Coppinger. Uh, we've had enough of this tyranny. I say that we slay both Coppinger and Katsunich. Oh, you must be joking. That would seem like too much of a murderous intent instead of liberation of the teachers and students. Perhaps you are right. Then I say that we just slay Coppinger alone when he presents his new rules to the students. All in favor of this plan? Here, here, here. Well, then it is set in stone. This meeting is dismissed. It's time to probably introduce the new rules. Except for Tiberius. And the two, Canfield. Not Coppinger, my loyal friend. And like that, the tyrant had fallen, just like he had so many years ago. But if it is true that history repeats itself, then the brave Canfield and Smith will soon come to realize that their efforts for liberation were in vain.